The use of deep level tunnelling techniques happened before the railways even started, with Mark Brunel's Thames Tunnel going under the river at Wapping. He used a protective shield which was rectangular and consisted of 12 cast iron frames. As miners excavated the spoil from the tunnel face, the iron frames jacked forward. Brick layers then lined the walls with brick. It finally opened in 1843, after 18 years. It was proposed to be a road tunnel, but was turned into a pedestrian tunnel. But later, in 1865, it was purchased by the East London Railway, later to be the London Underground's East London Line, and today part of the London Overground. Next, the Tower Subway, which was built using a new type of shield. The Great Head Shield was its name, and this is the idea that still stands today. This was circle-shaped, which is where the London Underground's nickname, the Tube, comes from. It worked like an apple corer. At the front, miners dug into the London clay, when meanwhile, other workers bolted curved iron segments to support the tunnel walls. It opened in 1869, but was downgraded from cable cars to a foot toll tunnel and closed completely in 1870, after Tower Bridge opened. Part 2, out soon.